Christina, as we see more cases of high profile officer involved shootings tonight, students at Southern Oregon University are seeing things from a different perspective. The students took part in mock scenarios that law enforcement officers often face and the decisions they had to make, they say, weren't always easy. I'm just going. In the heat of a moment, does an officer pull the trigger to end one life and save others? These questions all faced in a single instant, as we've seen played out in so many high-profile officer-involved shootings. Sometimes it's really difficult when officers are crucified for making that decision, and sometimes they choose wrong, not maliciously, they just make the wrong decision. That's why Southern Oregon University students are getting this hands-on training to see that it comes down to a split second. Shoot or don't shoot. I am just so shaken up right now. Like, I couldn't even think straight. Um, at first, it was very nerve-wracking. I wasn't really sure, like, what was going on, what to do. It's part of a criminology class at SOU. Students role-play real situations that officers have been put in before, and they have to quickly decide what their next hey, move is. Man. Excuse me, sir, have you been drinking tonight? I was playing I mean... a police officer, and I was by myself. It was late at night, and I was called onto a scene on of a guy on a motorcycle, I think, and he was supposedly drunk, swerving in and out of lanes, and then like working with him, he, I could tell that he was intoxicated, not really able to drive, and so I stopped him. And going through the scene, I did end up shooting. Professor Mori is a retired lieutenant from Las Vegas, Nevada. She faced situations like these herself, and she wants her students to see it from an officer's perspective. They get to see, wow, this wasn't even real, and I was stressed. I didn't know what I was doing. I made a decision, and now I kind of get a glimpse of what an officer goes through on the street. And whether or not these students want to go into law enforcement, they say this experience is crucial. And sometimes they're given a situation where they might have to use deadly force. And it's a good to do this training to realize like, wow, that happened in a split second because the situation can change in a second. Oregon officers go through a similar training in Oregon that help them with deadly force situations like these. And as for the students, they'll go over their decisions in the next class and see how real officers acted in those situations. Live in studio, Blakely McHugh, NBC5 News.